everybody welcome to mornings with mom today today is wednesday february 14th valentine's day valentine's day ash wednesday mardi gras or was mardi gras oh is yesterday, mardi gras over no, with yesterday mardi okay. gras for, yesterday was for tuesday for big tuesday for fat tuesday fat tuesday um so thank you so much for joining us with us today we are on the ig live as well you can watch us every mondays and wednesdays at 9 30 on ig live if you're not able to watch this recorded episode yeah. um we've Again, we have some guests on on um, IG Live, so just want to shout them out. Uh, Angelica with Ladies Life uh, Lifestyle, thank Good you morning, so much. Olivia. Ladies Lifestyle Network. Oh, I got, I got out. And then also Mimi jo said hello earlier. Thank you so much for joining. And um, we got a lot of topics today, y'all. I'm excited because it's Valentine's <laughs> Day. It's the month of love, and I'm wearing these um, pom pom peeps. Where, there it goes, hearts. Yeah. They have little I'm hearts wearing, on them. I'm wearing hearts too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, yes, other, the other way? The, this one right here. This one? Okay. You're wearing hearts. <laughs> so, um, and then I'm wearing pink, never stop, never settle. I'm not a real gush, gushy Valentine's Day person. So, like, y'all, it's all about like leveling up for Valentine's Day. <laughs> leveling up? Yes. Oh, okay, that's a new one. Yeah, for. You never stopping and never settling. Don't settle for oh, no, no settle, no settling for no. Valentine's no. Day. And if you have the right partner, he's gonna help you lift you up. Yes, yes. We're you gonna get my pop tarts. <laughs> I'm gonna play in a wait staff in a minute. Hold on, hold on. My mom, we were running late this morning, I forgot some things at the house. My mom was cook, making me some pop tarts like a 12 year old, uh, pain in the butt. I am. <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm not 12. And and then she was like, I forgot to turn it on. I forgot to turn the toaster on. So uh, thank you for joining uh, Forever Giggles and Miss Rorcia Cruz. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. That's my, <laughs> my Valentine's breakfast here. I was starving. I always wake up hungry. So we got a lot of topics to talk about because okay. um, there's a lot of cool things that are happening. But again, don't forget to uh, follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel on Let's Vominos. We really appreciate it. We're, we're building this platform. We're growing it. Um, and so we just need all the help and support. So if you're following us on Instagram, great. Follow us on YouTube too. That'd be awesome. We would appreciate it. Yeah. And um, also, if y'all don't know, we haven't chatted much about it, but we're still looking for sponsors for Las Mera Meras for National Latina Day. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about it more. We are in the works of still um, scouting out some venue places. So we're hoping that will happen soon. So if you want to be a sponsor, you have a business, or you want to help support a Las Mera Meras Festival, which is for celebration of National Latina Day, which is on August, uh, celebrated actually on August uh, 20th, but we're going to celebrate on August 17th and 18th because it falls on what because it falls on a Tuesday. Tuesday yeah so again thank you so much for uh supporting us those that are support us out there but we want we definitely need some additional sponsorships opportunities that are available so yeah that's pretty much it on that but let's get into the trending cheese because there's a lot that's happened and I'm so curious because over I'm the last 48 just, hours I'm just in well, the dark I think I think it's mostly Okay, so when I looked it up for trending topics today, yeah, of, um, this was not on the high priority list. But if you're a Latino and you like Peso Plumo, you are going to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so have you heard about what happened with him? Do you know I who have, I'm talking about? I have no idea. You don't know who Peso Plumo is? No, remember we're like three generations apart. Okay. <laughs> so he is a very young um, Mexican artist. He um, has had some really uh, great, um, not necessarily crossover, but like his music's transcending, oh, okay. like also not not just Spanish He's speaking. He's getting popular in all the, in the uh, English speaking okay. industry as well. So he um, apparently was in Vegas over the weekend. Of course, everybody was in Vegas because of the Super Bowl Sunday. And he was caught... Uh oh. Caught uh oh. With Wait for it. holding hands with a, another chica, <laughs> I guess you could say, that wasn't his girlfriend. Oh, so he's not married, and he had a he has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. Okay. But he's not married. Oh, 
Teeth now. This is but a teeth he's name but he's sure. definitely been in the um I mean he, she's in the limelight. She's been she's their relationship has been in the limelight. Okay. So she um posted a statement on her social media yesterday. Oh, oh why is she married? No. No, okay. The girlfriend. The girlfriend. That's an, oh, the girlfriend. Not that the, the, the woman, no. The woman. They didn't show the face of the other girl. Oh, okay. It's a mystery. And it was just some. I think it was just some random, some random girl. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, one of those. <clears throat> what do they call them? One night stands. Uh, no, it's not a one. We don't know. <laughs> just some some chica he was hanging out with. Okay. So um, if you're joining us, uh, we're talking about Best of Blumo, um, him getting. I guess entanglements or situationships or um, flirting. He was holding hands with a girl well, walking good. down the casino. Oh, okay. That's not flirting. Oh, that's just um, leading the way. That's like <laughs> when you're holding hands with somebody, that's very, that's, that's very just as intimate, right? You're not just saying like, oh, and she was, you know, she's attractive, but I, I, I digress. He's 24. Okay. He's pretty young. I don't know. I'll have to look him up. So what are your what are your thoughts, mom, about dating young and you know, some of these things that as uh in our generation younger are experiencing. Well, I, I know from uh, what I see on television and what I hear about people that have what, what they call open relationships. So I don't know this commitment that he has with his regular girlfriend if they have that quote unquote a type of uh, um, <laughs> relationship, but uh, yeah. And if you're young and you're not married and you're still not, you don't still have all your noodles <laughs> up there. I mean, you, you don't think about the uh, ramifications or the, you know, the consequences of doing that, but he's going to find out real soon. Yeah. Well, yeah. there wasn't, it's not an open relationship because she made a statement saying it's over pretty much. Okay. So, so no, no, no conditional uh, relationship. No. And um, there was also an incident that happened. But is I, he attractive and good looking? Uh, I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, guess, I mean, if you like that kind of like, I don't know. He's just not my, he ain't my type. And I like, I, you know, <laughs> like he's just not my type. Okay. I wouldn't say he's not attractive. He's just not my type. Okay. And. He um, hadn't, there was an incident, no, not incident, but there was like a lot of, I guess, red flags. At 24, there ought to be a bunch of red flags. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, a, I mean, he's young. He's not, um, he's not ready for a serious relationship, no matter how much he tells the woman. Well, who, the red the flag, he the red her. flag was recently, he performed at a, he performed at a award ceremony with another singer a uh, co-collaborator on a song uh -huh. and she's very attractive as well and much older than him not much but older than him and um there was a you know uh what is it there know. were some vibes going on between them there were some weird vibes oh, though okay. it was like it was like awkward vibes like why is this feel awkward why is this look awkward why does it feel awkward huh. and they even put that camera on his girlfriend when this performance was going on. And of course you had the like, uh, wait till I get, wait till we get to the house. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I don't know. She just, I don't, she, and if I, I don't know. Like, I feel like hmm. if it was me, may, cause 20, she's younger than him, I think. So she might be even younger well, than 24. Both, both uh, too young to have a, a quote unquote serious relationship, especially if you're, uh, 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 I was like, if that artist. was my dude up there, even dancing with some hot chick, I'd be like, let's go, like go. <laughs> no, I'd be excited. I'd be proud. I'd be like, that's well, my, yeah, that's my guy. But that's their insecurity because they're young and they haven't really established their their identity as a as a woman, a woman, not a girl, yeah. and as a man and not a boy. Right. Yeah. You know? So the other thing that happened, I'll be interested to go look back and look at that. Yeah, you'll, okay. There, I'll have to catch you up. The other okay. thing big that happened this past weekend was Beyonce goes country, y'all. So Beyonce mm -hmm. just shared that she is drop. She just dropped two new songs, and she's dropping a country album. Did you did you realize uh, that? Yes, I heard the announcement, mm -hmm. and I've already heard one of the songs, and I. And I and her gear, the stuff that she wears, sometimes so that you know to promote her her song 
that very provocative and uh, mm -hmm. and I'm going, oh la goodness, <laughs> do you have to do that to, you know, to to showcase your quote unquote your voice talent, you know, your talent, as opposed to unveiling everything. <laughs> trying to say nice you know uh, i don't know what the word is but yeah i understand it's that that's the way they get the attention of people who have only think with their uh, <clears throat> their other brain and not with their uh i know. think i think it's because it's a generational thing oh yeah well it, uh, it happened when we were young too no it's a generational thing of the sense of like you see it as her exposing herself as a uh, too much and our generation sees it as a woman empowerment. In other words, no, being no, I being, empower, I, being empowered to show. No, I hear that. But we went, no restraint. We went through the generation where we burned our bras and went braless, you know, and uh, that was okay. But we weren't showing the breasts, you know, <laughs> and we weren't showing everything. Uh, but uh, so I, I understand that I really do. Uh, it's empowerment and to. It, that's what you all have. Have you heard the songs? Uh, yeah, kind of, but I didn't pay attention. Like, yeah, that's not, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll have to pay attention. Ladies Lifestyle Network says, I just heard her song on the way to work. Which one did you hear? The 16 Carriages or the um, Texas Hold'em? I forget which one, which one I heard. Because the Texas Hold'em is probably the most more catchy one. It's more country. Huh. Um, 16 carriages, I think they said it's a little bit more soulful. I'm very curious. Nobody has said anything from the country in like the country. Well, how dare a superstar like she get into their uh genre of music? That, so that's what I'm thinking. Sorry, guys. Um, I think uh it's gonna be interesting. Because Darius Rucker, if you don't know who Darius Rucker is, Darius Rucker is a black country artist now oh yes but he was the lead singer of uh what was it is it smashing pumpkins no 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 you're asking the wrong no person. not smashing pumpkins i forgot from a from a what a rap group or a hip-hop no i don't know who they are rock and roll you just you saw that oh my god I, is... I don't retain that kind of information it's just oh okay i saw it anyways <laughs> darius rucker he's <laughs> He came from rock and roll or I guess alternative music and oh, is now okay. and he's a he's one of the main black uh country artists that is paving the way for black artists out there. Yeah. And there's a a woman too, a, a art woman artist that I Oh saw. yeah. Yeah. But I'm curious to see what the reception's gonna be like for Beyonce because I like both the songs that I heard. Mm -hmm. I just don't know of their country. Per country standards standards per yeah. people that are real country singer like real country artists so we'll see well, we'll see how that hearing goes. it one time is not enough i'll have to go hear it again, again and again yeah um so today's also ash wednesday um mom are you gonna get your ashes uh yes uh, by noon I, i'll go to st john's and go get my cross okay. my ashes yes i'm going while well, you're going to go get your ashes i'm going to a valentine's day party Okay. So I have a Valentine's Day party to go to. A uh, couple other things that are happening today other than Valentine's is... What is it? Today is also National IHOP Free Pancake Day. Oh, maybe I'll go do that after I get my answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, you know, if you want to get a free pancake at IHOP, today's free pancake day. I guess, it's, I don't know how many you can get one. Well, there's only one I hop in Baytown, so everybody, everybody. No, how many either. pancakes are you gonna get? Oh, well, I, I don't know if you could just get one free pancake. Oh, I, I'd be happy with one because I don't eat that much. Maybe two. Or it's like unlimited. I don't know. And if I eat, if I get three, I always eat half of that. So it's just what one and a half that I eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's going on. Like I said, Ash Wednesday today is also Wednesday, which is um, wear your pink day. Oh, it's pink. No, yeah. No more red. Uh, Ladies Lifestyle says here, hold on. Yeah, I like that. I like the song. I just don't know if it's country. Like, just because you put a country beat to it doesn't, I don't know. Like, and I listen to a lot of country music. I know a yes, lot you, of, you do. I know a lot of country she music. Used to, you used to sing all the songs all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, we'll I just little, didn't have that country sound, huh? I mean, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
We'll have to see. I got a lot of. I like Beyonce. I like Beyonce though. Oh, yeah. I like her. I yeah. like her music. I think she's yeah. definitely uh, an amazing artist. But I just don't know if it's tradition, not traditional country, just ge- like country in general. Well, I used to like uh, country, but I used to like the old old country of the fifties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about that's old. Country. Yeah, yeah. There's actually they they've talked about there's actually different genres of country music. Yeah. So, on, and on legend radio. Yeah, uh, and um, doing some research about today because today is Valentine's Day, and you know it's all about relationships and love and situationships and all those things. One of the topics that came up uh, as I was doing my research about all the things that are happening today. Okay. It's about a lot of people breaking up, right? So we just talked about Festa Plumo. He was holding hands with that girl. Then his girlfriend posts online, you know, hey. That's a big breakup, okay. Uh, done. Yeah. The way she says it, it's, an, it's a, it's a she's, she's a Spanish speaking, so she wrote a Spanish uh, oh. post. Okay. And, um, but should you break up in public? Is that something you recommend for people out there that are, young is it okay to break up in public i think you can break up anywhere anytime (laughs) whether you're an artist or not if you you gotta do it you gotta do it you just break up and say bye-bye but i'm saying like should should is a test a text enough or should you like you know actually bring the person and and sit down and no, tell them to break I, I up i guess i've been watching too much tv on crime uh, how uh, yeah <laughs> remember a couple, uh, when i said about uh, we need to teach our children our boys how to accept rejection or, mm-hmm. or when they lose and what mm-hmm. have you mm-hmm. because uh, there's too many too many crimes where men can't separate from they they just can't take no or they can't take a breakup and then they go kill literally kill there's so many cases out there so let's try to keep this positive. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to keep it. That's what I'm saying. The red flags come right before they start a relationship. Uh, find out everything you can about. So should person. you break up in public? Then is it okay? You can to- break up anywhere. Yes, I believe that you can wherever you want. If you have to do it, you want to do it. You should do it and do it while you're thinking about it and do it. Because um, I have mixed feelings about this. Because texting and all that it's insulting, and you're just angering the guy or the girl. That makes them stalkers, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But the thing I've been is, broken up with a lot of people in my life. So uh, uh, I would like to say if I was, what I know now with all the things that I know now. You're, from my, you're wiser now? From my wisdom. Okay. I would say don't break up in public um, unless. Oh, you want witnesses though, in case. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't. No, I'm saying you don't have to meet in person. Oh, okay. I think they're saying these days it's okay to break up over text oh. or maybe email. I don't know. Email sounds mm. really impersonal. Text, I guess, or phone call. Um, a voice, a voice uh, message, voice message, or something. Because because of what we go through as women, being in public, having a breakup, and then. Um, Ruin, they say some people break up in places that are like special to them. Like people will, will be like, Oh, this is a this oh, is this like, is our place, yeah. yeah and fun, then they go break up, dinner. and then it's like no more special. It's like well, now the people put too much value into physical locations. Play, no, but it's true. Things trigger things later in life if you go somewhere. I know that's true for me, but when up for a breakup, uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. I'll definitely like to hear some feedback once we post this video to see who else, what their thoughts are about, uh, you know, breaking up in public. Your dad broke up with me one time. (laughs) Yes. I know the story, but share it with those. uh, Yeah. And we were, we were teens. We weren't, I don't think we were 16 or 17 and we used to attend the church little uh, teen hops that we used to have. And, uh, uh, there was a teen hop going at, uh, out of town at Pasadena, and uh, his buddy said, well, just break up with Hilda. Break it so he can go. <laughs> so he broke up with me, and uh, and he told me years later why he broke up. He didn't tell me then uh, at the time. And, I, and all I said was, okay, <laughs> when he broke up with me. And then, uh, I, as it turns out, I ended up going to that Pasadena uh, hip, uh, little teen, teen hop dance, and <laughs> we were back together. <laughs> so we were like, you know, children, uh, very young, immature, you know. How did you get all the way to Pasadena? Who took you? Well, the, uh, those those services were provided by the older kids. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't know about that. You and, going all the way to Pasadena to do well, a, a dance? And no, it's a church, a church hall. I still, yeah. I still a dance. Yeah, yeah. But they thought he, he could find somebody else, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't good enough for him. All right. Yeah. So uh, the other funny thing that I've been seeing also for today, for Valentine's Day, is are you a Valentine's Day Grinch? Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? So if you're watching with us and joining with us, thank you so much for joining us. Are, Hello. Do you celebrate Valentine's, though? Like, do you go all out? Do you expect your spouse or loved one to go all out for <laughs> you? Um I read a really cool article this morning about a guy who got rejected. Okay. But he, so he got rejected because he gave a gift for Valentine's day. Okay. And pre previously the gifts that he had given had always been accepted and, and been grateful for. And he was always just, you know, he was always, what did this woman do? All, he was always very um, appreciated by his previous girlfriend's, when he was in high school okay. and he was a big gift giver. He loved giving gifts. Okay. So I guess that's his, like his love language. Well, he ends up giving a gift to this mm -hmm. current mm -hmm. girlfriend that's in college. She's, you know, smart, she's got all these things. And he gave her a guest watch. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was not her. That was not her reaction. Her reaction was, Oh, next time, if you get me a watch, can you give me a Michael Kors watch? <laughs> No, no way. <laughs> and so he talks oh. about in this article, he talks about that he became tainted from that experience because now he was like having buyers or gift like uh, anxiety, Remorse. gift anxiety, yeah, anxiety. Give, to give out gifts because he was giving gifts to show his love and appreciation. But then when the person that rejected, rejected it. it and kind of was like, I don't really like this. Yeah. Um, he said they pretty much broke up a couple of weeks yeah, after that. Say, yeah. It didn't the relationship didn't last. And it kind of made me think of me, actually. <laughs> You've done it that way. <laughs> and it was a Michael Kors thing too. No, it wasn't a Michael Kors. I like at the at a point in time, I like Michael Kors purses, yeah. but Matt's never gotten me anything other than a Michael Kors purse. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about. You've never seen me reject a gift. No, no, no. But uh, but the Michael Kors thing just brought yeah. the thing. Yeah, no. Uh, that will, it's a good thing they broke up for him because now he knows, understands the appreciation of a gift, and and then uh, have a woman that's so um, demanding that she says, "No, this is not what I want. I'd, I'd rather have had the uh, this other brand." And that's a good thing because a uh, future relationship is going to be bad. Well, but, this is the way she I, was going to dictate to him. Well, this is the wanted, way I see it. What she wanted. I think as women, sometimes we, uh, one of the things I've learned over the past few years, obviously, is that as women, we, we are felt that we cannot share what we uh, want. So then when guys are like, well, what do you want? And we tell them we want these things and they don't and get they it. Don't get it. And it was like, well, we told you exactly what we wanted and you're getting us something that's not that. So that's the, we don't know the other side of this yeah. story, right? Yeah, yeah. He gave her a gift that he thought was going to be. Uh, well, guest watches are, I have a acceptable. bunch of them and they're nice. But um, this was, I'm sure that this is a time, it sounds like this is a time where guests is no longer, like anybody has a guest watch now, I was, it's not a big deal. Like that's not a big deal. <laughs> It's a guess. Now, uh, now these days is if you have a Rolex, okay, that's a big deal. And it was a big deal then, but now it's even a big deal. It's well, still a big deal. I, I never had to ask your dad that I wanted this and this particular. I, I never had to. He, he said, if you want it, get it. Just get it. No, you never have but, to but ask I, that. But for a gift, I understand it's, a, it's supposed to be a gift. And, uh, and he would ask me, what would you like? And I'm going, oh, you know, whatever, whatever you want to get me. Yeah. Uh, but it, after we got married, it was like, if you... Get whatever you want. What let's you get like. let's get wasted. Just joined us. Thank you so much for joining, Coco. Hi there. Uh, we appreciate y'all joining. So I got candies <laughs> for Valentine's Day, um, and I got a card. I got some cards from my family. Um, I'm all about the chocolates. I told them, I tell people I want it all. I want the cards. I want the flowers. <laughs> I want the candies. And let me tell you why I say that for Valentine's Day because. 
I don't typically get it on any other day. So I have to, I have oh, okay. to be very um, purposeful. Okay. Well, if I'm not going to get it on any other day, I'm definitely going to get so it on you Valentine's selected Day. Valentine's Day for the get it all or none at all. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, no, I mean, I think the, the, uh, I think it's thoughtful to get something because people are saying, oh, well, you should love your spouse or loved one every day. It's like, yes, but sometimes sometimes I, you don't like them. You well, might love them, but you don't like no, them. No, <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily that. I think when you, uh, for those that are young in love or young in marriage, they don't understand that marriage becomes uh, different. It's not like dating. No. So Matt used to give me things all the time for Valentine's Day, all the time. And now, as obviously we've been married for a long time, we uh, those things started to like trickle down to like nothing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> and uh, so it's kind of one of those things. I think people that say, oh, you should love your spouse every day. Uh -huh. Yes, you should. But at the same time, um, if you're not doing that, then you need to definitely be doing that on Valentine's Day. I got we got some comments here. Uh, Coco says it's the cards for me and write in it. Don't just sign it. <laughs> There you go. She's like, I want some, I want some poetry. I want some vitros, um, some, some love words. Uh, yeah. Some sentimental. Some emojis that say something. Uh, like, even if it's like, I don't know, like some nice words. Yeah. It's a thought. And, don't and just sign it. Right. Draw hearts. Draw some hearts. Yeah. Draw some things. Uh, we've got, uh, Another a couple of people joined on J Tour Beauty joined on the pom pom peeps. Look, Kelly, I'm wearing your earrings. I'm wearing some pom poms. Oh, this one. There you go. I don't know if you can They're see so them. They're so cute. They're little hearts. I've had these for a while, y'all. And like, I think these are like her first when she first started. They're yeah. really cute. Yeah. I keep, I can't, I'm trying to figure out how to. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think it's very important to show someone you love them on Valentine's day. Not that you don't love them during the other days. It's just, if you're not giving flowers or you're not giving candy or you're not um, doing those things on a regular basis, then yeah, do it on Valentine's day. I don't, and guys shouldn't feel guilty about it either. I think that's the other thing we make men feel like, Oh, well, you don't love your woman on any other day. <laughs> Well, of course they do. Okay, Why is it always a test about whether they love you enough or love you more, love you le love you less. It's just you know mutual uh, respect and love on any given day, and it doesn't always have to be Valentine's Day. I think one of the best things is when you get something when it's it's a it's a regular old weekday. It's a Thursday or it's a Monday. Right? And, yeah, and, those are nice. And that's those, those are the things you surprise your loved one. It was. And I, I think it should be uh, the woman can also give the 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 guy something as well. Uh, they appreciate them, but don't get used to it because you, you don't want to do that because then they'll get they'll be uh, hurt if they don't get something on a certain time. Uh, I don't yeah. know. You have to um, kind of set the traditions and set the roles. Of I think when and where. I think also um, knowing that in certain times. Uh, like, right, we're go through, we're going through a lot of um, different uh, stages in our lives. Some years we might have a lot of money. Some years we might not have a lot the of money. The economy determines a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And so the the uh, last year I bought the boys a both Valentine's Day little goodie things. And this year I didn't mostly because I like it's costs a lot of money now. Mm -hmm. And two, um, I'm just, a little older. I'm, I'm just kind of like, oh, they didn't really care. Yeah. They didn't really care <laughs> when I did it. <laughs> they, they didn't really like, oh, like, oh, and, and we've had that conversation um, about it. And so a lot of people feel like Valentine's Day is a marketing thing, right? It's all about commercialism. Yep. Uh, it's all about, um, you know, mm -hmm. taking your loved ones, spending your spend, money, spending your money. Yeah. I think uh, for me, I just want to share whatever love. So like, uh, you know, for those that are out there, uh, the supporters out there, the viewers out there, I just want to share any love that I have to y'all. Like I, I love y'all in the sense of like, you know, friends or whatever. I, I think it's important to share love and always in, in all forms, mm -hmm. um, whether it's getting 
a gift or whether it's just saying, hey, you look nice or hey, yeah. uh, those things. I think there's or cheer up somebody's uh, day by acknowledging yeah. them and saying, hi, how are you? Want to send you a Valentine by, I mean, um, and let you know that I'm thinking about you. Yeah. We got here. Um, and Helica with Ladies Life so says, my boys get candy every year. Simple, but I still love it. Even the 15 year old. Oh, yeah, that's so sweet. So, uh, so she said a tradition already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've never, we've done candy almost every year, some, some form or fashion. Of course, I'm going to share this candy with my boys that yeah. they get, got me. Um, my in laws, when, when we first got married, my in laws, they're awesome people. I'm just being real <laughs> honest. They're super sweet. They would actually send us these, these Russell Stover packages. They would mail them to us. And like with a little Valentine's Day card, just to me and my husband, just like just super sweet. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. That's nice. But um, they don't, they didn't do it every year. And the years that they did it were great. The years, you know, that they couldn't, that's fine too. It's not, I think it's one of those things like. It's, it's not a mandatory thing. It's, it's not mandatory. Yeah. But I think the people that are the Valentine's Day Grinches, right? The people that are like. You should love your loved one every day. Well, duh, like duh. But I guess I would like to ask those people that don't celebrate Valentine's or do anything. Do you give flowers and candies and cards on any other day just because? Because I guarantee you, I bet you they don't. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that uh, most of the celebrants of uh, Valentine's Day are probably people from the age of uh, 50 and down as opposed to maybe 50 and up you think so i, I don't know I, I i think so because by by that time when you're 50 you're you've already uh, you're so uh, well grounded and and yeah well maybe they there's people that share that yeah i don't know i, I can't speak i can't say that i can't generalize that yeah yeah i, I don't really know i think um but i think it's fun for the i guess i mean that i just fun. think it's funny when i see all the guys out there running at the last minute <laughs> to go get or else <laughs> flowers for their loved ones um we have a croaker nearby and they were like tons of strawberries yeah. and flowers and balloons, balloons yeah. and so does h-e-b yeah. uh and um is like valentine's day everywhere explosion explosion yeah, yeah exactly and um most of that stuff's not gonna get bought y'all that's that i think that's the hard part is that so much waste right well yeah there's so much waste at, at the end of the day like a lot of that stuff like i said go buy after valentine's day 75 percent off <laughs> 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 that's what you really should I celebrate it on the 15th or 16th yeah. yeah um but we see uh thank you so much for joining us uh let's see who else uh j-u-l-s-b-22 joined thank you mm -hmm. uh goofy shelly joined thank you ashley the seo strategist joined thank you so much yeah. um but yeah that the there's a lot to valentine's day and i think um i think that you know it's a special day to, to tell that person i think if anything you just make it make it fun yeah. make it fun don't yeah. make it don't don't think too much about it don't think too hard about it hmm. did you have anything else you wanted to share no mom? they were all your topics <laughs> i gotta have a thing to share because uh, really it's been a slow week uh it has been kind of a slow week oh i know what i can share okay and i think you you saw it i i bought me a <laughs> a chainsaw oh my god y'all <laughs> it's a it's a small little uh, hand uh, pruning and I and I finally but I, you see I'm very thorough I read all the instructions I read all the warnings and all the all the how to's and the, the safety things and I love it because I I, I I chopped down that uh, old Christmas tree that was in the backyard oh my goodness I'm gonna have to go see that yeah. y'all my mom still had her Christmas tree in the backyard uh, oh I guess that that would be a topic of I'm so happy and, and glad that uh, I paid attention to my husband in everything that he did. And uh, especially when he had to do the, um, the what is it, the honeydew lift. Mm -hmm. I even helped put up a roof one time. He, he, I asked him, can I come up there and help you? He said, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> we, were much, we were much younger. So everything that he does, I try to learn from him because I wanted to make sure that uh, first that he was safe and that was just my way and everything i've learned how to do as maintenance of my house and now that i'm a widow 
I, uh, I'm so happy I did all that. And he taught me, he taught me so much because there's some men and women that don't learn how to, like your dad, he, he loved to uh, mop our floors mm -hmm. because he liked to be clean, have clean floors. And uh, so that, that's not a woman's job. It's, it, it's anybody's job that needs mm -hmm. to get done as well as the handyman stuff. My dad, my dad was a rare gem y'all Yeah, to mop floors. Yeah. He was super rare. There ain't no Mexican men that mop floors yeah. that, at but, least. But he was doing it as a, as a, a child at his home yeah. to help out his mother. So yeah. he learned that very early on and it wasn't, uh, it didn't define him. He, uh, the thing is, uh, you have to learn a lot from your partner, your Valentine, the love that you love, learn from them and them learn from you to share all those things that help maintain and, and uh, uh, what it function a mm -hmm. home and a life and a, and a relationship. So I'm so happy that he's taught me so much that I went and bought a chainsaw. And I, and I know I, she told, she showed me what she bought and I said, Oh dear. Lord. And I just said, please read all those. I just talked to Arthur and I said, look what I did, babe. <laughs> and you'd be so proud of me. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for joining Emily. Good morning. Yes. Happy love day. Happy love day to you yeah. as well. I think that's great. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think, you know, we've never really chatted too much about this about dad, but I think dad's love language was acts of service. Yeah. Uh, so dad would mop the floors. He would wash dishes. He mm -hmm. would cut the grass. Yeah, he made good breakfast. He would make breakfast. Yeah. He, he was definitely uh, an act of service. He was also generous with gifts, but not only not in a um, like um, what is it a very ostentatious type way. He just gave gifts. He wasn't like oh grandor, or he just say buy it. Yeah, yeah. And so I think uh, love language is very important. So if you have a spouse, learn their love. First of all, learn your own love language, yeah. and then learn also their love language. Uh, mine, I didn't realize. I thought mine was um, quality time. That's a that's one of the love languages. Do you know the love languages, Mom? No, I didn't know they had labeled them. Yeah, there's a there's a book about it. Oh, okay. The love languages. So my, I thought mine was quality time. No, mine's gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I always your thought, dad always gave you gifts. Too. I thought yeah. I I really thought at one point in time it was you know like uh, or showing affection or anything. No, I like gifts. Yeah. And I, it took me a long time to actually realize that, like, I, I like getting opening things. I like having things. Um, and it took me a long time to kind of come to terms with that <laughs> because when you didn't get a gift. Yeah. Well, because I was like, I, I, for me, I felt like it was, ex I was expected to get something. Right. So I didn't really verbalize or communicate that. Mm -hmm. I just thought that like, that was a given, right? Like you give a gift. And so <laughs> when you don't get a gift, yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, yeah. disappointment. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Emily says here, hers is uh, touch and showing affection. Yes. I like that too. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I, there's a, everybody has like maybe a little bit of all, all of them. them yeah. Uh, but yeah, I realized mine's the gift receiving. I like to receive the gifts. I also like to give gifts as well. Yeah. And, um, and I think my husband's love language is acts of service. He he um, he likes to wash dishes. Yes, he likes to wash dishes, y'all. He'll uh, wash his own clothes, which is great. I don't have to wash any of his any of his clothes, and um, those types of things. And he does give cards and stuff like that. But his is a little bit of acts of service. I think it's not so much gift giving. So we've we've had a very interesting relationship over the last. 20 years uh, because like I said, I didn't know what my love language was. And I was here thinking, expecting like all these things. And then I was realizing, Oh, I'm not communicating that to nobody. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, for, uh, Forever Google says my sister made me take a little quiz to see what kind of partner I was. And I got the touch and affection. I learned that from my parents. They were always cuddly with me. Aww. Yes, You must be the baby. She's been, she was on here last time. Yes, we've already, we've already oh, established I, well, that. I don't remember that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forever giggled. Uh, yeah. So yes, uh, I can totally relate to that as well. My parents were very affectionate people, um, yes. hugging, kisses, yes. Um, yes. you know, 
you know i think that's kind of uh most latinos maybe i don't know but uh i don't think so no but uh grandma wasn't loving at all no no but in that, that in that way but sorry. that was a different generation yeah. Uh, yeah. i kind of had to teach your dad about that too because he was not uh demonstrative and uh especially in public not affectionate affectionate yeah and uh so holding hands was like whew, big deal yeah yeah yeah, so um, we hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. Again, we appreciate y'all always joining with us on the IG Lives. And again, go uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers, y'all. So any way y'all can help by sharing this with your family or friends or, um, you know, like I said, the whole, everybody, the whole family to let them know that it's free to subscribe you don't have to pay anything to be uh, get a youtube account and all we ask is just to subscribe and follow and share our content yeah and uh we hope to have more uh things to talk about next week on monday when we come back on and it's just just to have fun it'll be the after yeah. the aftermath of valentine's day <laughs> we'll see who's who's still together and who's not uh, uh, that guy that you're talking about there yeah, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But if you weren't able to catch uh, this uh, IG live earlier, no worries. Make sure to catch it on the YouTube channel here so you can watch it anytime. All right. So we'll all see right. y'all later. Let's vamos. Bye. Bye. -bye.